in Vietnam, I hear some American dream, but I can't believe it. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here at Allure Salon in South Burlington. I am Jennifer Chen. I am from Vietnam. I'm Lee. I'm Lee Chen. I'm Chen's daughter. <laughs> Hello. Today we're going to talk to the trans about their journey from Vietnam to Vermont and also go and celebrate Vietnam Museum. Yeah. 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 What do you learn from me? This is my daughter and my mom. Yeah, I know the Antiens here. Hi, Bibi. What's going on? This is Bibi, my regular customer too. You guys have really been coming here for 10 years? Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. And I fought all of them. Yeah, yeah. Regular customer we know all about. <laughs> this is my 25 year anniversary ring, which oh. was now four years ago. Have you gotten to know them over the years as they've gotten oh, to yes. know you? Oh, yes. <laughs> I see a good and then see a good me. See my son. I thought they were both in engineering, no? No, one engineer and one medical lab. That's a good job for him. Yeah. Yeah, we try to work hard. Uh, medical, oh. Mary. And pedicure. Oh, pedicure too. And you work here with your daughter and your sister. Yeah. Beautiful color, right? Mm -hmm. Want some design today? No, I'm all set. Me and her, sometimes we, we don't, we don't fight. We go quick. When you quick knife, two seconds, we go all done. Someone asking me, are you tired of working with your mom? I say, no, I'm not really. I like it. Her, see her seven, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. <laughs> why I like working here? Yeah, why you I like my here? job. Yeah. For anyone have beautiful nail, beautiful toe finger. This is the first time we're going to actually have matching toes. Yes. Oh, you want some bling bling? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a work of art. I'm lucky that I met a lot of really nice customers. They have family to me. Yeah. yeah. They're teaching me English. Yeah, snowflake on this finger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, the guy. I am a woman business owner. Done anything by myself. We will come back because we are the family. I thought a business to be sure take care of my children. Thank you. So we have generations here and we have generations over here. Too. That's true. That's yes. true. Mom and daughter, mom and daughter, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. Beautiful. Aren't they pretty? I can remember the first time I came here. What I noticed was they knew their customers. You see that it's women run and it's women who are benefiting from it. And I just really like that. These guys have been like family. They joke, yeah. I joke, like if I can't find my daughter, I used to come and look for her here. <laughs> I started coming here when I needed professional nails. So six years. Wow. Around that. Really? Your toes are that on the wall long. forever. Yeah. No, yeah. all of those people. <laughs> yeah. Fun <laughs> thing to do, we've always done it. So, just kind of tradition. <laughs> Mom, and that? So when they married 60 years. Oh my God! It's their 60 year anniversary. Yeah, here. and next year 65. What did your mom think of it? They're thinking about American here is so spoiled. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are. Yeah. It's an eight billion dollar industry. Eight billion dollars. Last 20 years, the nail salon become a most popular, I mean, jobs for the Vietnamese community. Everywhere you go into California, Texas. Georgia and Florida, everywhere you will see a nail salon everywhere. In your lifetime, probably getting your nails done is something that you've always known. Mm -hmm. The nail salon has become like a gathering place for birthdays, mm -hmm. a special occasion, weddings, weddings. Yeah. 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 But that's all so new. Yeah. Like, I mean, you guys remember mm -hmm. when I was a kid, this was not common. No, no. It just blows my mind that it all started with Tippy Hedren. My first name in Vietnam, Hang. And they never, they call me Hang, Hang, Hang. <laughs> want to see when I marry? Yes. I don't want to see it. 18 years old, had no idea what was in store for her. This is my daughter. We are in Vietnam. We are in Vietnam, though. 
อันนี้เป็นสาววินเดียไซกอนดองไลน์แนวคุณสันมีอันไม่ทีเจียวจันลีกิมสันกวางฮีสันฮวางบิน2000 I come to the USA with my younger son Bin. Me and my younger brother stay in Vietnam. And then I said, Oh, my mom leaving. Keep secret because I don't want to cry, cry, cry. You were so young too. You were only about 11, probably. Yeah. I don't see them. I don't go back then too. I work hard, save money, and I get in someday family together. I'm coming here when I'm 17 years old. When they see the end foot in the Vermont Air Force, I can't believe it. I can see the end, real feel the end. Nothing I can compare with that. The only thing I know, hi, how are you? If you're asking me all the questions, I go like smiling, always smiling. My children and I, all the citizens, Chiang my name and Chiang my lay. We are citizens. It's in my home now. America can give you a lot of opportunity. I come to the USA to be sure my children have a great education. This is my younger son in high school. He play football and lacrosse. All the busy guy. I went to Aztec Tech for cosmetology. I went there for two years. Half time class at CCV for medical assistant. My daughter only graduated college CCV. That's my story. <laughs> and my two sons, Ben and Hui, both graduate together at UVM. Sometimes I just think that's a dream. <laughs> everywhere right now, you see the Vietnamese stores everywhere right now in the Vermont community here. You see nail salon is everywhere. This area has changed a lot over mm -hmm. the years because we have had a lot of people from other countries joining us yes. here. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the changing face of Vermont? I like that our community is becoming more diverse. So do you feel like it's important for America to welcome people from other countries? Yeah, I do. When I got here, I feel welcome. I try to do something with my life. I want order to feel the same joy of the new life, a good life. American dream. I love Vietnamese New Year because that's the time that we can gather together. <laughs> for uh, Lucky Molly, Brower, they form a uh, north, yellow Brower from the south. Vietnamese New Year is the most important festival of the Vietnamese people. Whenever they may be, they feel an image not not tosia, yeah? wishing to come back to their homeland for a family reunion. When I was younger, this is my route for dancing. Oh, now I teach some girl dance. Especially as a girl, I think it's really important to learn to dance because it's definitely part of the culture. Being in Vermont, we don't have the largest Vietnamese community or the largest Asian community. Having that experience to dance with Jen kind of helps keep that culture going as we are still trying to live our daily American lives. You really pay respects to all of the elders and all the ancestors and you have to thank them for what they've done. And by performing everything, I think it gives her <laughs> the special like thanks. Official. I'm stuck in Vermont. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Lee, for doing my nails. You're welcome. Welcome anytime. And thank you for sharing your story with us today. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Do you know how to say stuck in Vermont in Vietnamese? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I got those yellow. <laughs> I know. I like yellow in the summer, you know. Yeah, summer, yeah. <laughs> And I've been getting my nails done here for forever. And I've been talking to Lee and Jen and slowly like getting to know them and I was like, yes, 
would make such a good video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we get a Vermont. We get a Vermont. I see. <laughs> and you too. <laughs>